Hi everyone, I am Brittany the Cosmic Lunar Soul. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back to all my subscribers. We are doing our normal monthly unboxing of the Witch's Moon box. If you're not familiar with this, you can check out the description be below for all of the details, but to put it simply, it's a monthly subscription box by the Witch's Moon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this baby open. All right, this is, I always consider May to be my birthday box, even though like it's never geared towards me just because it's always surprising and um, it's my birth month. So yeah, here is our Oracle card. If you're not familiar with the Witch's Moon, it has an Oracle card and um, the information sheet for the month. So let's see, this card is beautiful. Oh man, let's see what we have. We have Create. Uh, I have to look at this entire deck, but I feel like it's very glossy. Look at that. But let me see where this Oracle card is from and let's see what the theme of the box is. This is the earthen vessel box. So our Oracle card. All right. So before I get into what the Oracle card is, this is just our normal two pages of information and then our blank parchment at the end. Our Oracle card for this month is from, this is the Divine Nature Oracle Deck by Angie Sullins, art by Greg Spelenka. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I'll have to look that deck up. I just love the back of the card so much. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side and we will get into the rest of the box. I'll just refer to this if needed. Okay, we have our two, uh, mini grimoire arts here this is the celtic tree horoscope this is actually a two-pager let's put it this way so this is a two-page grimoire art uh thing i don't think i've ever gotten a two-pager before but it's really cool because it goes through the different uh types of trees and then the trees are associated with the month. So for me, my birthday is May 10th. I am the willow tree, which is the watcher. So let's see here. We have um, highly intuitive, perceptive to situations and surroundings, patient, not so much. Uh, let's see, reflective of their feelings and mindful of the feelings of others. And then some in a inauspicious traits include sometimes too emotionally receptive or unable to draw healthy boundaries uh, not quite true but uh, it's really cool it's pretty nonetheless all right gonna put this over here to the side for now we have here this looks like the bigger version that goes along with this so this is like the Celtic wheel of the year but for the tree specifically so um so for instance we have let's see let's see i'm trying to find oh oh okay yeah here it is so here's the willow tree so it's just like it's a very simple version of that but it's so gorgeous it's very pretty and if you're the type of person who puts these in like sleeves and has a binder full of them gorgeous maybe that's what i'll do with these i just gave myself a good idea all right so i see a little tea bag which means we have some tea in here somewhere i think it might be this this is a uh, vitality ritual herbal tea let me open it up and see how it smells all right this smells so good let me look up what is in it we have um, it smells like candy. So it has rose hips, elderberry, and hibiscus. I, I could smell that hibiscus in there. And then it has other uh, additional natural and artificial fruit flavors. That's why it smells like candy. Ooh, okay. This actually smells really good. I'm not the biggest tea drinker, but I do enjoy like a nice fruity tea. Let's see what herbs we have. It looks almost like we only have one thing of herbs. Okay. So this is white pine, 
This is specifically white pine bark. This is used for portraying the qualities of peace and harmony. It's uh, also used for promoting relaxation and white pine is known to promote clarity of mind and emotional balance. So this was apparently used for centuries by indigenous peoples to treat respiratory issues and fevers as well. Okay, nice. I love pine. I, I will sometimes make or I used to make pine bundles to burn uh, in my just day to day. Uh, this smells so good. Uh, this is, this looks like a little spell bag almost. This is new. Okay, let's see what this is. Yes, it's uh, the Earthly Abundance Spell Charm Bag. It has a tumbled smoky quartz in it. You can kind of see that in there, see that guy. And then um, it has a pewter tricorda acorn affirmation charm. And you see that charm in there. So here is one side of it and it says grow abundance. And then the other side, let's flip it over, is the tricorda. And it's like inside an acorn. Guys, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. Uh, along with that, it has uh, willow bark and oak bark. So it has my birth tree <laughs> in it. It has white pine, and then it also has elderberries. Ooh, this sounds... Guys, this smells so freaking good. I think I'm going to put that in my money bowl. Let me know what you guys would do with this. All right, next, let's do our bath salt. This is Watcher of the Willow. I like how everything is like, I know, you know, May is more than just the first 15 days of May. So I like how everything is geared towards me. <laughs> this is uh, the sacred bath salt. I'm going to do my Britney smell test. I'll be right back. This uh, has like an earthy scent, but with like a hint of sweetness. Let's see what all is in this. So this has cedar wood and pine oils, as well as white pine, oak, and willow bark. And then there's a special mixture in there. So I'm guessing there it's their Druid Insight uh, Magical Oil. Whatever is in that, it ha probably has a hint of sweetness to it. But um, it's actually really nice, and I bet this would, um, the aroma after putting in the bath would be nice and subtle. Uh, I. Everything smells so good in this box. This is a very aromatic box, guys. I wish it, uh, you know, one day, you know, Willy Wonka created like the fancy TV that you could basically get your chocolate out of. I'm going to create smell -O vision We have a uh, Santalum for our incense. I've actually never heard of this. So let me go ahead and do my Britney smell test and I'll be right back. This smells really, really good. This smells like how I'd imagine um, a freshly cut like pine tree would smell after after a fresh rain. It's it's so earthy, so it's just like a fresh scent. Oh, I think I'm going to burn the crap out of this. Okay, it smells so good. Let's do the oil next. I'll be right back. Let me get this open. Here we have the Earthly Roots uh, Magical Oil or Ritual Oil, whatever you like to call them. Look at all those lovely herbs in there. See if you can see some of them. A little bit. It's hard with the, the lights. Let me uh, smell this and I'll be right back. This smells really good. It reminds me actually um, a lot of that scent from the bath salt. Let's see what we have in it. So this is made up of juniper, pine, cedar wood, and clove oils. And then in it, it has oak and willow bark as well. So that kind of makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think juniper always comes off a little sweet, and I wonder if that's what's in here in that mixture of oils as well. Uh, but yeah, it smells really good, but it's not overpowering, and it, it's just like a slight sweetness. If you've ever smelled like sweet plants almost but not like um they're not like candy sweet all right let's get this guy open this is a necklace which i'm already kind of loving 
it's much lighter than I hoped for, but it's not bad. So there's an inscription on one side. It says, as the mighty greenwood tree protected, grounded, connected be. Oh, it's like a grounding necklace. I kind of want to do like a nice little grounding ritual for this. So when I wear it, I feel like I am, um, my, my energy is grounded. I can um, do something like that. Let me see what it says about this specifically. So this is a pewter pendant and um, it's basically created with the, for, from the guardian of the trees. And uh, it says, be intentional about setting time aside to reconnect and reground yourself. Relax and remind yourself of your place in this beautiful natural world. So yeah, I feel like doing a little grounding ritual will help do that like a lot of things I do when I wear necklaces I subconsciously rub them so I maybe I'll do something like that I don't know what are your ideas guys what would you use this for okay I was like where is our candle <laughs> guess the color of the candle um I'm going with a like forest green and I'll be right back let me know what your guesses are put them in the comments all right, guys, let's see. Drum roll, please. And brown. Uh, that was going to be my second guess was brown. Everything is very brown, so I was like, oh, it seems so obvious. But uh, I will say that I very rarely get brown candles. Maybe I'll use this in my grounding ritual with, the, uh, with this. But I tend to be very selective with when I use them because I feel like brown candles are probably some of the hardest colors to find uh yeah let me know if you guessed this correctly if you did good on you okay let's see we have seems like a two-part thing but I think they all go together so let me get the big guy out and we will talk about it okay this is a tree of life box look at this look at the um carvings all throughout that's gorgeous it's actually nice and heavy too the lid is not like a sure fit it's much more of an uh, eclectic uh sort of rugged design so if you're into more of that like super fitted pristine look you may not be into this but um let me read up on it and see what more there is to it so this is called the tree of life earthen vessel box so the tree of life is known to be the fundamental archetype in a variety of traditions and um, myth mythologies. And it was originally found in Central Asia. This is supposed to be used, kind, not supposed to, but it can be used in tandem with the um, grimoire stuff, the tree horoscopes that we looked at earlier. And it says, uh, work to understand how these attributes from the horoscope uh, are directly related to your current situations what rituals and meditations feel necessary during this time of year how do we let go and obtain new points of view how do we push past boundaries of our comfort during this time place your written intentions into this box in addition we recommend going outside to your local park out to the nearest forest find natural items such as rocks fallen leaves etc and place them inside the box with the slips of paper mm, okay this is really fun i i don't know how i'll use this box yet guys i kind of have a lot of ideas so i'm gonna sit with it a little bit i usually put stuff like this off to the side until i find like that one piece of inspiration that makes sense but i do have quite a few ideas and let me know in the comments what you guys would like to use this box for. Okay, I'm going to clear everything up and we're going to talk about our favorites. All right, here is everything. Uh, guys, I have to say this was a tough box. Uh, I, this is the first box in a long time where I just loved everything. So, I'm you know you can't choose the big one here right okay so let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing was and um why and then for me 
I am gonna go with the necklace and the spell bag. I usually don't buy pre-made spells, so I like when, you know, and I've actually never gotten one from the Witch's Moon. I make my own stuff, um, but I really like this, and I already feel inspiration for it, and I feel inspiration for this as well. Um, I know that I'm gonna use the, the oil. I, it actually gives me ideas of how to make my own oil, so I wanna kinda test some things out first. But yeah, I'm gonna stick with the necklace and the spell bag for my favorites. Uh, let me know in the comments again, guys, what you enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.